High quality is probably the descriptor word that I would choose for Avon Lake, Ohio. Between its gorgeous real estate and its prime location, you can't go wrong with living in this part of Ohio. Now, my name is Sam Oler, and I'm a real estate agent in the greater Cleveland area. I handle everything, including and surrounding Cleveland. So if you are thinking about making a move to the area, definitely reach out to me. I help tons of people relocate here every year. Whether you're looking to move in a few months or a few days, I've got programs that are going to make your life a lot easier. So all of my contact information is down in the description. But with today's topic, which is Avon Lake, Ohio, you're starting to get out further away from Cleveland. And once you get past that Bay Village mark, which is bordering Avon Lake, you're gonna be flirting with a 30 minute drive to get to downtown Cleveland, which isn't horrible, but it's definitely a lot longer than if you were to live in some of the different surrounding areas. Now, as far as Avon Lake goes, in 1776, that was the start of the European contact with the people that lived in Avon Lake, who now found themselves in the Connecticut Western Reserve. In 1822, Lorraine County was formed and Troy Township was renamed Avon Township by petition in 1824. Now Avon Lake is part of what we know as Lorraine County today, but in 1915, Avon Lake separated from the rest of the township of Avon to form the township of Avon Lake. And in 1960, when it hit its residence status, Avon Lake was granted permission to become a city as a part of Lorain County. Now the housing market over in Avon Lake today is incredibly diverse. You're gonna be able to find houses that range all the way from 300,000 all the way up to a couple million. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, it might be a great option for you just so you can surround yourself with a higher class of people. Now the average price for a home in Avon Lake right now is right around 345,000. So if you're moving to the area, those sub 300,000 are pretty rare to find, however they are out there. Now as far as the type of houses that you're going to be able to find in Avon Lake, you're going to be able to find everything from townhomes to single family homes to luxury real estate. In most cases, the closer you get to the lake, the more expensive the house is going to be, but there are a few suburbs tucked throughout where they have quick access to the lake and you still get that affordable price. Now as you drive throughout Avon Lake, Ohio, you're going to notice that there's a lot of luxury homes scattered throughout. A lot of them are going to be built on Lake Road, which backs directly up to Lake Erie. And if you find yourself in the area, definitely take a drive down Lake Road because there's some truly amazing houses. Right now there's one listed at 5.5 million and it is just an absolute beauty. It's a massive six bed, seven bath home with an in-ground pool that has a fantastic view of Lake Erie. And I think that backyard alone is enough to sell me on the house personally. I think it's absolutely perfect. Now, as I'm working in the different parts of area, I'm noticing that there's still a lot of new builds going on. A lot of people are picking up the last of the lots that back up to the lake and they're building their dream homes on it. So there's not only old money that's been invested into the area, everyone else still seems to think that it's a prime area to build in. But as you drive around south, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of houses popping up and a lot of other developments as well. So if you're thinking about diving into a new build, you're probably going to start in the 500 grand range to build a smaller 2,500 square foot house. And if you're wanting something that's closer to 4,000, you're probably going to be close to that million mark. However, the ones that are going up right now have quick access to the golf course, and you're going to have those picture perfect views that some people dream of having while they live on the golf course. If you can't quite work with that million price range, don't worry, there's still a pretty large variety that is available to you. Now, if you're looking for a bigger house in that 300K price range, you're probably not going to get it here. You're more than likely going to land in the 400 plus. But if you need to spend that lower end of the budget and you're okay with it, you have the opportunity to get into some smaller ranch homes that are 1,500 to 2,500 square feet. Now with all the listings that have gone up in Avon Lake over the last year, houses are commonly selling within a couple days, so it is incredibly competitive to get into. You can expect the average house to be under contract within six days, and that is going to probably be with multiple offers. So most of them, you're seeing them land right around 2% above list price, which is still less than 10 grand over what the seller is asking for that people are paying. So it's not that bad compared to some of the other areas. I've seen houses go as much as 30 grand over the list price. So sitting at 10,000 in a competitive market is not a bad place to be. You'll be fine on your investment as long as the house appraises for what you're paying for it. What you don't wanna do is overpay and then make up an appraisal gap. And that is where people start to fall into issues in my opinion. I'm a huge proponent on making sure my clients are making a good investment in their homes that they're buying because realistically that's what it is, an investment. Now the hot homes in the area that have been newly renovated or reconstructed are selling about 6% above list price. So if you're wanting that house that has a brand new remodel on it, you're going to pay for it. But as I always say, it's super important to work with an agent that you trust that you know can get your offer accepted. And I'm one of those people. So if you're thinking of moving to the area, you know who to call. And as I'm driving through Avon Lake nowadays, I'm noticing that there's a lot of space between the homes, the retail shops, the grocery shops. So this area isn't incredibly walkable. You're going to notice when you come here that you're going to absolutely need at least one car 
car, but if you're a family, you'll probably be better off with two. That way, if someone's at work and the other has to go out to the store or something along the lines of that, or they have to go to their own job, you're not gonna be fighting over getting access to that vehicle. However, there are some parts of Avon Lake that you can get into some condos that are very close to shopping. In fact, there's actually a new build development going right up by the Giant Eagle in Avon Lake. So if you live in that neighborhood, you're able to actually walk to the Giant Eagle and a few other different stores that are in the same parking lot, which is extremely convenient because in most cases, people there are probably gonna to have to drive to get to any sort of grocery. And if they wanna ride their bike, it's definitely going to be a pretty long commute. Now, people who are moving here are coming from a mixture of Ohio and different states and some of the main states that they're coming from that include the most people are going to include states like California, New York, and Washington DC. And the climate in Avon Lake isn't so bad. The worst that you're going to have to deal with is going to be the snowstorms in the winter and also the rainstorms in the spring and fall. We tend to get some pretty heavy storms with all of the changing seasons. So the main thing that you're going to have to worry about with that is going to be keeping your basements dry and also making sure that there's no fallen limbs from trees on your home because this area is pretty nature filled and it has a lot of trees throughout so my advice to you is to just keep up with the maintenance I have a ton of different videos on everything that you need to do with trees and basements in order to keep them dry and safe now the other thing that I mentioned about snow is the greater Cleveland area gets a lot of lake effect snow since we're so close to it obviously and the closer you are to the lake the worse the snow gets in the winter so that's something to keep in mind if you've never been to the area or you've never dealt with snow we get a lot more than most places another thing that you're gonna need to know about the area if you're moving from out of state is the the fact that we usually only get 168 sunny days a year. So that's more than half of the year where we're dealing with either overcast or rainy season. It's incredibly common to have a day where it is just partially sunny and then the clouds roll in and it's overcast the rest of the day. Unfortunately, it is kind of dreary here and Cleveland was actually ranked one of the top dreariest cities in the United States. Now, if you're moving to the Avon Lake area and you have children, chances are schools are going to be on your list of things to check out. Now, Avon Lake High School is ranked one of the best in the Cleveland area and even even the best in Ohio. So nationally, they're gonna be ranked 921 in the United States. And then in Ohio, they are going to be ranked number 34. That gives them a scorecard of 94, which just shows how prepared the students are for graduation and post high school life, whether they be going into college or if they're gonna go directly into the workforce. Avon Lake has a ton of extracurriculars that they offer to their students. And as far as that goes in the fall, you're gonna have different sports like soccer, football, golf, cheer, tennis, and volleyball. Come winter, the students are gonna be able to take part in different sports like swimming, basketball, bowling, gymnastics, cheer, and wrestling. And then in the spring, they're gonna have popular sports such as baseball, softball, track, lacrosse, and tennis. Now, the majority of the students who go to high school probably aren't gonna play a sport, but there's still no reason for them to not get involved with the school. Like I said, Avon Lake has a ton of extracurriculars that cater to everyone's interests. Now, as far as the different clubs that they offer, those can include everything from esports to National English Honor Society, Student Council, Drama, Future Business Leaders of America, Pep Club, Model United Nations, Spanish Club, Robotics Club, and even Art Club. Now the amount of activities that they have to offer is actually kind of wild. I didn't have nearly that many opportunities to get involved when I was in high school. So I hope the students that go there are definitely taking advantage of this because it's a solid resume builder and it's gonna give them some incredible memories to look back on of them hanging out with their friends and trying new things. I think this is one of those schools that anyone would be proud to graduate from. Now when you're moving to a new area, it's incredibly important that you know what kind of jobs are in the area. At the time of filming this, there's about 24,000 jobs open in a single radius around Avon Lake. So most people here are driving about 20 to 30 minutes to work, depending on where they have to go. Like I said, you're probably gonna be working your way towards Cleveland in some capacity. And unless you're going a far distance, you're probably not gonna be getting on the highway at all. But if you were going to downtown Cleveland, you just hop on 90 and drive all the way there. Right now, there's about 25,000 people living in Avon Lake, and the majority of them are gonna be working some sort of white collar job. And in order to get those jobs, you're gonna find that most people are going to have some sort of college degree, whether it be a bachelor's degree or some sort of continuing education after that. But the average household income in the area is sitting right around 118,000, so you could have a high single income earner or you could have two average ones, but that's the type of demographic that you can expect if you're moving to the area. And with a higher quality of people comes a lot less crime. If you look at the crime maps, there's gonna be significantly less than if you compared it to different parts of Cleveland. And while you're looking at the crime maps, you're gonna be able to decide whether or not this is the right fit for you. Now, my favorite part about every city is going to be the restaurants and the shopping. Now in Avon Lake, one of the downsides is there's not a whole lot of shopping centers in Avon Lake itself, 
but you have a lot of fast access to different ones in surrounding cities. One of those is being Avon, which is between 10 and 15 minutes to get to the shopping center, depending on where you're at in Avon Lake. Now there's one huge shopping center in Avon that you're probably gonna be doing most of your shopping at, and that's gonna have all of your retail stores, grocery stores, and there's even some restaurants, but you're gonna be able to find different big name stores there, such as Costco, Target, Kohl's, Cabela's, Walmart, Menards. So that's probably where you're gonna spend most of your time. It's not a terribly far drive, but you do have a couple different options as far as shopping goes in Avon Lake. They're just a little bit smaller. The two shopping centers that are in Avon Lake are going to be Avon Town Center, which is more of a strip mall kind of feel. You're gonna have a few different restaurants, stores, and even gyms. And then over at Learwood Square, that's the one that has the condos that are pretty much attached to the parking lot that are being built. Over there is going to be your main grocery area, which is gonna be Giant Eagle. If you're in need of some serious retail shopping, you can work your way over into Crocker Park, which is incredibly close. And Crocker Park is an upscale mall. If you're wanting more information, just go to Google Maps, type in Crocker Park, and you're gonna be able to see all the different stores that that they have to offer. Now, one thing that I've noticed about Avon Lake is that it has no shortage of restaurants. There are a ton of different options to choose from all over the city. So if you're wanting to grab some food and take it to a park nearby the lake, you're able to do that. Or if you wanna go south and hang out in the middle of the city and have a good dining experience at a restaurant, you're also able to do that. Jake's on the Lake is one of those American bar food restaurants that I'd suggest going to. And then across the street, pretty close by, go over to Heritage Avon Lake. And there you're gonna find a gazebo that you can sit under and eat your food and watch the lake, just enjoy the sounds of the waves crashing in. Lake Erie is one of my favorite places to hang out and just go and unwind and relax. As far as activities go in Avon Lake, you're gonna have a lot to choose from. However, it's gonna be mainly local activities. It's probably not gonna be the thing where you go out, spend your whole day, or you wanna travel in and visit these things. These are just things that you're strictly gonna do if you are in the area commonly. Now, one of the things is going to be Miller Road Park. At that park, there's a jungle gym, a lot of seating areas, picnic tables, but that's also where boats launch out onto Lake Erie. So you're able to hang out, watch the boats go out into the water and come back in or you could go out onto the pier, which takes you out into Lake Erie. And it's a pretty cool area to go hang out, especially when the water's moving pretty quickly like it was on the day that I was there. It's pretty interesting to see how the waves change throughout time. Over at Heritage Avon Lake, you're gonna be able to see the Folger House and also the Veterans Memorial. And there, it's a similar vibe to Miller Road Park where there's gonna be a lot of different areas that you can sit and just go relax. You also have the opportunity to go to the water park in Avon Lake, which is more of an aquatic center. It's got a big slide, a lot of different things to do in the pool for the kids. If you're wanting more of an adult experience, you can go over to the Klingshirn Winery and taste some different wines. And the Klingshirn Winery has actually been around since the 1930s. So it's one of those that is a really cool spot to just go check out and see the history and how far it's come from where it started. Now, if you're looking to make your way over into downtown, you have the opportunity to do that pretty quickly. You can go catch a game with any of our professional sports teams. You can go visit a ton of different museums. At night, you can see a show at Playhouse Square or you could go to the House of Blues and watch a concert. And there's also a really great bar scene in downtown Cleveland. So no matter what your interests are, if you're moving to Avon Lake, you're gonna have something that appeals to you. And me personally, I don't think you could go wrong living here. It's a beautiful city. It's a great location. The real estate there is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna have a great school district for your kids to go to. You're gonna be surrounded by some amazing people. So Avon Lake is probably worth considering if you're thinking about moving to the Cleveland area. If you want a little bit more information about it, I encourage you to reach out to me. I can help you start to plan your move. You can find all of my contact information down in the description. And if you find yourself in the description, make sure you click that like button because it's gonna help me out a ton. And also subscribe because it's gonna keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the Cleveland area as far as real estate goes and activities. I do a lot of different videos about what it's like living in the Cleveland area. So with all that being said, said, I'm going to leave the video there. I'll catch you in the next one.